the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, there are still a number of hoops to jump through before the Treaty of Waitangi goes to referendum. The new government will introduce a Treaty Principles Bill based on existing Act Party policy. News Talk ZB political editor Jason Wall says he doesn't believe a referendum will end up happening. He says Winston Peters and Chris Luxon have supported the bill for a first reading, but then it goes to a select committee. And at the end of the day, people will be able to look at that argument and say on balance what they think of it. Mm. Then it's going to be up to Christopher Luxon and Winston Peters whether they want to support it. The Israeli Defence Force is promising to bring back all remaining hostages from Gaza as Hamas releases 13 Israelis. Elderly women and children as young as two are among those receiving care back in Israel. Israeli government spokesperson Elon Levy has told Sky News it's fantastic news mixed with great sadness. But we're anxious now to see what the state is of those children, those women, and when they discover the heartbreaking news of what happened to their families on October 7th and the whole family embraces them with a huge embrace and and we'll be there for them. Oscar Pretorius is going to be released from jail in January, seven years after being found guilty of murdering his girlfriend. The Paralympian was sentenced to 13 years behind bars in 2016 after shooting Reva Steenkamp through a door, claiming he mistook her for a burglar. Steenkamp's family are unhappy about his impending parole. I'm not convinced that Oscar has been rehabilitated. Rehabilitation requires someone to engage honestly with the full truth of his crime and the consequences thereof. Headhunter gang members have set off on a mass funeral ride spanning most of the North Island. The tangi is for senior headhunter William Bird Hines, who died after years of poor health. The ride is expected to go from Auckland to Foxton, north of Wellington. But there are fears it could bring the traffic network around Auckland to its knees. That's news. In sport, the Phoenix may leave veteran Tim Payne on the bench when they meet Melbourne City in football's A-League today. Wellington's match at Mount Smart Stadium comes after an international window, with Payne, Finn Sermon and Alex Paulson all meeting the team in Auckland, following all White's duties. With Payne playing nearly two full matches, Phoenix coach Giancarlo Italiano wants to give him extra recovery time. My big question mark would be over Tim Payne at the moment because he started for both games. Uh, I think it would be his duty of care, getting him in one day before, a bit of jet lag. We might be putting him at a risk to start. Allegations hanging over Australian basketball star Josh Giddy will be looked into by the NBA. Multiple NBA reporters are reporting the league will investigate allegations relating to Giddy having an imp- inappropriate relationship with an underage girl. And a pat on the back from Australian captain Leighton Hewitt for his players after they marched into the final of the D- Davis Cup with a 2-0 semi-final victory over Finland in Spain. That sport, I'm Sandy Hodge. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.